Hello and welcome back to part two of how to make a badass sci-fi aliens whatever type rifle model whatever you want to call it. Okay, so what we did basically is we cut out two parts first off and we had just used the follow me tool to make this tube piping whatever around this part so we're just going to join these two parts all right that is kind of okay we have to stretch it a little bit it's not quite there we go all right down a little bit being very finicky to join these two pieces Let's see how it is on this side. Move that down a bit. Alright. And maybe move this over a bit. Too far. This way. Oh, let's go back. Alright. Basically just trying to fit this together because it's such a weird shape it can be a little bit annoying all right that looks okay mostly okay top is down a bit kind of have to move the whole thing over a little bit there we go that is good and see as you can see in the back it's still kind of messed up but we can we don't really have to worry about that because what we're going to do like we said before is actually stretch out these pieces if I can and I want to move this over a little bit so that it does not interfere with get the camera in the right position move that over oh. there we go and we're going to stretch these out so that they protrude and look like a buttstock with, I guess, I don't know what you call them, just grippy back section. Oops, not that way. Not even, but who cares? We can make it even later. Slide this back on. Is that in the right place? Almost. Looks like it is. Front is a little bit. There we go. Alright. So now we're just going to shrink these pieces back. Because they're just barely sticking out. So we have some definition. And then after this, we will start the, I guess, main barrel or whatever type. I don't know yet if I'm going to use this model or something else. Okay. Not the best, but eh. I could get really fancy and maybe have like an art pattern. push them in a little bit because I don't want them sticking out that much. Oops, I don't want to do that. It's too far in. This piece is too far in. All I have to do is make them a little bit out there and it's like a rubber grip. Still too far out. The team of making stuff in 3D. All right. Now this doesn't have any textures yet. We could add that later. So all right, here is our main frame type thing. So we're going to edit and make a group. So now we have two big pieces. The grip pistol part 
And we're just going to slide this in here and see how this looks. Because I really didn't know. Because these are two separate um, model designs, drawings. So we'll see how this looks. It kind of is reminding me of the alien's rifle. I have to scale this up a bit. At least, like, I mean, actually, not scale that up a bit. Scale this down a bit. It's really huge. Oh. There we go. Okay. You can see it's starting to take shape. A little bit. It's not a perfect model, but it's not terrible. I have to center this a bit because it's not centered. So, good. Now we have some contours. We have the basic shape, butt stock, and pistol grip. So now what do we want to do for the front of it? I'm not entirely sure. Um... Let's see, I have some weird sci-fi designs I can pull in. I want to do something that kind of looks semi-realistic, like it could be something. Uh, let's, mm, Billy Mays. Uh, something. Something. Let's see what else we have here. Something rifle. That's really weird looking. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um. Let's see what's in here. What? I don't really have any good designs. I'd go with nah. Hmm. I guess I'll go. That kind of looks weird. Um, this looks weird. Nah. Whatever. This might, maybe, maybe that. Um, you can just look online because there's tons of pictures of things that you can just grab a piece from this and piece from that. We're going to try this. I don't even know what it is. Some sort of rifle type thing. Uh, where is... Love this picture. Yeah, so somebody made a Nerf. Maybe this is a Nerf weapon? I'm not sure. It looks like they just made their own Nerf type thing. Kind of looks like the aliens type thing. So, let's see. How to make the barrel. Of course, you can make a barrel simply by just making a tube and holding it, which is what we're going to do. But I want some big... So, I might take this front end and mix it with these other two type of things. So, this is going to be pretty simple. It's a square. Actually, I'm not going to use that picture. I'm going to draw it on something else. So I do a square. I actually do like that though. Let's say this will just be off the top of my head, just with these three things. So this one has something like this. It goes up, and over, then up, and goes. Let's just say it goes back. And the front part of it goes. It looks like the alien's blaster. From that movie, Aliens. Um, okay, so there's that piece. Then this has, okay, let's see. Let's delete this excess here because we don't need that. Some of these lines. I think all I'm going to do is keep that shape, but then do some sort of beveling or angles or something. You can try it like this. And draw a line straight across. Same thing on the other side. And 
And for here, to get those angles, just simply draw a line. And like I said, I'm not really making sure this is completely equal on both sides because I don't care because it's just going to be a prop for something. And actually, it kind of looks cool. So once you draw these lines, you can use the push-pull, once again, to push it off, like so. I actually like the fact that it did not delete it completely because it just makes it look weirder. And I'll push that in a little bit. What is this at? This is at one, one, oops, too far, is that? Not quite. All right, so approximately. So, all right, we have a weird piece here. And what else can we add to it? We need some more detail. Now, uh, this has a barrel kind of poking through this, which I do like. So, I'm going to make a recess here. Just by drawing another plane on top of this. Once again, it's kind of not centered, but who cares? It's close enough. And pushing it in with the push-pull tool is how you create those recesses. And let's see, the other drawing has some things that are interesting on it. Um, I like whatever that is, that cut out. So in order to do that, you're just basically doing the same thing. Let's say it's about there. I don't know where. And, whoops. I do it from the other angle. So that is like that. Okay. And then I think it something like this. We can delete this line here. Because we're going to push this in. Push that down. And then we can push this. Oops. Wrong way. Down like this. As you can see, it pushed it in a weird sort of direction so that we have this, but you can delete these lines here. Or delete the faces, rather. So there we go. Now we actually have a hole, which is kind of cool. And in order to close this hole, just do the same thing. Draw the diagonal line across. Oops. Make sure that it touches from corner to corner. And in case it doesn't feel like this, you might have to draw a whole box like that. Just going straight across and then down. And the same thing on the other side. There we go. Nice cutout for whatever that is. And what else does this have? This has a lot of cool parts. I could have made it bigger. Oh well, yeah, I should still be able to make it bigger. At least this way. Push that back a little bit and push this back a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit bigger. Um, I want to make it even bigger. I think it's an ejector or something. This hole. Alright. So now that we have that. Um, what else do we want to add? This has some, what should we call it on top? Some recessed parts for a scope now. Oops, oops. So we're going to do basically the same thing that we did for the buttstock portion. And we're just going to draw a bunch of boxes. And some of these we're going to raise and some of them we're not. And that will create that, I guess, whatever effect, uh, not effect, but scope mount piece rail. That's what it is, rail. 
once again, like I said, you could measure these out if you wanted to get 100% exact to make sure they're all exactly the same size, all exa exactly the same height. If you were getting, I don't know, prototyping something on CAD, I guess you could do that. This is kind of like the poor man's CAD. It's very simple. You also can change the measurements and the settings, whether you want to do millimeter or um, American foot, pound, setting measures and weights. Uh, this is a long rail. Let's speed this up. In fact, I don't think I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do that. Just to push these out. All right. All right, so there we go. They're not 100% even, but like I said, that's something that you can mess with if you feel like it. All right, so is there anything else? I do like these, I don't know what you call them, little vials and containers and things like that. So in order to do that, what we'll do is, well, first we're going to make this into a group. Should we make it into a group? Yeah. Well, first we're going to make the barrel. That's sticking out here. And to do that, let's draw a line. We want it to be, I don't know, somewhere around there. That's red on line, on axis. There we go, on edge. There we go. And find the midpoint and draw your circle. Find another midpoint, well, the same midpoint, draw the circle, and I guess we'll go for three. So, now we can use the push-pull. Well, once we actually delete these lines, look for the inside of the circle, because we don't need them anymore. And push-pull, and there we go. That is barrel. And there we go. So there we go. Very simple. It's kind of small, but who cares? Could make it bigger if you wanted. And then we're going to select all of this and make it another group. So now we want to, well, first of all, we're going to fit this piece onto this and just see what we're even making right now because who knows, it may be horrible. I also did not do the piping on this piece because I wanted to be, I purposely wanted to be kind of blocky. So we're just moving this down. Now this is starting to look interesting. Um, shrink that down. That's about there. And shrink this side down once again. Um, yeah, now it's looking cool. Sort of. And for here, we're going to have to do something for here. I'm thinking it's going to be like a bullpup rifle, so we'll probably put a magazine there. And maybe you can slide this back or not. I don't know. I don't know how I like this. Stop. Why is my camera acting all weird? shrink this down this way make it really tight now it looks like this basically except with a different grip and a different top or I could leave it long like that I kind of like this short like stubby all right although as you can see it messed up the dimensions of the barrel so I'm going to fix that you can just shrink it down like that 
pretty much, if he wanted to leave it like this, I guess he could. It's reminding me right now of, like, maybe the Halo rifle, battle rifle. And once again, shrink it down to make sure that the diameter of the barrel is not warped. Oops. So, all right, cool. Whoop. Uh, I have to get them closer. Sometimes you have to move the camera closer when you're scaling it because otherwise the farther you are the farther it scales the closer you are the closer it scales so all right now we have kind of something i'm gonna take all these pieces and group them together actually i'm gonna undo that because i'm going to make these whatever those cylinder are these cylinder are all right so to make a cylinder is pretty simple you start with a circle then you Scroll it up. Now, if I remember correctly, when you take this, you want to draw another line across, make another circle on the, in the center. Actually, I don't have to do that. Just find the center. And draw your circle. Push this up a little bit. And then draw a line from one of the endpoints to the other endpoint, and we're going to draw basically a triangle. And then we're going to try to do the following. I think this is how you do it. Look at me. I'm the tutorial person who doesn't remember how to do that. That's right. I for, forgot to have to make sure that the triangle is complete its own face. So you have to draw the line down first and then draw the triangle. So tools, follow me. And then we're going to follow the top around until we get to the other side. And there, now we have the kind of, um, what is that called? Uh, capacitor. Capacitor type thing. And you want to do the same thing on the bottom. Find the center in case it doesn't show you the center like it's not now. Just draw a line from end to end. And then you will have the center. And you can delete the line, push it out. And do the same thing you did on the top. Use that line there to draw your triangle. Now you have a face. And where is it? Um, follow me. Now you got one half and oh, select. There we go. Here is the other half. Oh, I don't want to extrude the curves. Oh, I see. I see what it did. That's weird. I don't know why I did that. Oh, that's why. Because duh, duh, you have to delete this other line here, so that it goes completely around. Silly me. Worst tutorial ever. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yep, there we got it. Now you have a capacitor type thing. And we're going to shrink this sucker down. Something like this. Whoop. Still want it to be somewhat circular. All right, and we're going to make this into a group. Move it into place. And let's see how these capacitor things are on this. One, he has a big thing capacitor down there. So just going to start putting these things in weird places. Use the scale tool. Now I want to flip along the green. No, it doesn't do it because it's a circle. So I'll have to do the rotate. 
90, approximately 90. Okay. And then we have our first capacitor. And just jam that sucker right in there, wherever you want. And if it's too big, scale that sucker down. Something like that. Maybe move it out. And I don't know, I want to, maybe it's too small. I want to rotate. I want to have it at an angle like it is in the one model. So we're going to do that. In fact, scale it up because this is going to be the big capacitor. Let's put it in the front wherever we want. Move that down and just jam that sucker right in there and on both sides. Shrink it down a little bit until it's not so obnoxiously out of place. And maybe lengthen it in a bit. All right, so there we go. First capacitor. I don't know. I kind of like it like it is. I guess I could put some stuff on the sides. Maybe I'll tweak it later. But basically, here's our weird sci-fi rifle. Now, really quickly, I'm just going to do a kind of magazine for it. I don't know why. But just a simple square. Let's draw another line. Because I want that bottom piece to be rounded and use the arc tool zoom in if the camera will let me zoom in there we go tangent to edge come on just did it do it again there we go delete these pieces i don't need them anymore delete this line All right, now simply expand it, and let's do some recesses on it. Let's see, from edge to edge. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, let's say we want to round one of these these recesses. Simply use your arc tool. And there you go. You can delete these now. And push them in. Oh. This one was not for whatever reason on there. Yeah, I don't know why that's not squared. I know why, because it wasn't closed on the top. No, that's weird. I don't know why that. I guess it did not draw on the face. In case it doesn't draw on the face, it's no big deal. Just won't allow you when you go to push or pull. It won't recognize it as part of uh, being joined to the face. So redraw it real quickly. There we go. Bam. And for this end, let's see, we're just going to add in some sort of external whatever. I don't know, maybe I'll put a light on it. Some sort of trapezoidal thing. And here we go. And I'm going to end this video right here. And this is pretty much what we have. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Put this in here. Oops, that was not the whole thing. I made a group. Now we have the whole thing, whole, whole group. Put this in here and...
we'll get over all of it. Here we go. Thanks so much for watching our sci-fi battle rifle-esque thing.